taking advantage of time and the danger of wasting it. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, by the declining day, man is deep in loss, except for those who believe, do good deeds, urge one another to the truth, and urge one another to steadfastness. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, and that Muhammad is his servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the Day of Judgment. Time has a great importance and a precious value in human's life. It is one of the blessings that Allah bestows on a man. He, glory be to him, said, he has made the sun and the moon useful to you. Steady on their path. He has made the night and the day useful to you and giving and given you some of everything you asked him for. If he tried to count Allah's favor, if you tried to count Allah's favors, you could never calculate them. When contemplating the glorious Quran, one finds that it pays much attention for time. For example, four surahs of the Quran are named after certain names or certain times. Namely, Surah Al-Fajr, Dawn, Surah Al-Layl, Night, and Surah Al-Duha, Morning Hours, and Surah Al-Asr, Afternoon. In addition, the Almighty Allah has sworn by times and various ayahs in the Quran. For example, Allah said, by the daybreak, by the ten nights, by even and the odd, and they said, by the morning brightness, and by night when it grows still. In another surah, Allah said, by the enshrouding night and by the radiant day. The Quran concern with the time shows us its importance and the necessity of making use of it, doing good acts that benefits one's soul, society, and nation. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, take benefit of five before five, your youth before your old age, your health before your sickness, your wealth before your poverty, your free time before your preoccupation, and your life before your death. Al Hassan al Basri said, O son of Adam, you are nothing but a number of days. Whenever each passes, then part of you has gone. Therefore, we have to organize our times. Take advantage of every part of it and make use of every, every moment in our lives. Activities breed activity. Why laziness leads to laziness. When one combines something little with something little, this would make much. Man's life is nothing but pieces of time. Man's life is nothing but pieces of time, which all together form his whole life. Once a poet said, a person's heart beats tell him, life is just minutes and seconds. However, we stress that the real age of a man is nothing but his knowledge, as well as his intellectual, scientific, theoretical and applied heritage that he produced or presents and everything he presents to serve humanity regardless of the amount of the time he left a poet said the age of a man is his fame not long longevity and his death is a day of his disgrace not his demise so achieve your fame with good deeds so that 
you can have various lives. Blessing in one's life is not only to live for a long life, but also for the amount of what man produces or offers during his life to serve his religion, the world or people. The best among humans are those who live for a long life and make good deeds. And make good deeds. While the worst among humans are the ones who live for a long life but do evil deeds. The best human are those who are beneficial to people. The best human, those are beneficial to people. The Prophet, peace be upon him, was asked, O Messenger of Allah, which of the people is the best? He said, He whose life is long and his deeds are good. He was asked again, Then which of the people is the worst? He said, He be speak upon him, said, He whose life is long and his deeds are bad. Another hadith tells us that the Prophet, peace be upon him, the most said, the most beloved people to Allah are those who are the most beneficial to people. The most beloved people to Allah are those who are the most beneficial to people. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of the world. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, his companions and followers. The Islamic Sharia urges us to take advantage of time and warn us not to waste it. The Almighty Allah said, give out of what we have provided for you before death comes to one of you. And he says, my Lord, if you would only reprieve me a little while, I would give in a charity and become one of the richest. Good God does not reprieve a soul when its turn comes. God is fully aware of what you do. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, There are two blessings which many people scounder. Good health and free time. He, peace be upon him, also said, The feet of the slave of Allah shall not move on the day of judgment until he asked about five things about his life and what he did with it and about his knowledge and what he did with it and about his wealth and what he did with it and what how he earned it and how he spent it so about his knowledge and what he did with it and about his wealth and how he earned it and how he spent it about his body and for what did he wear it out another hadith says give charity before you get a time when you will not be able to give a charity some people are deceived by time if not he may try to kill time because he lives in a boring killing ledger time he does not make anything useful either for his life or for his religion abdullah ibn mas'ud said indeed i hate to see a man idle neither working for this world nor for the hereafter indeed i hate to see a man idle neither working for this world nor for the hereafter may allah bless a poet who said Time is the most precious thing you can save. Time is the most precious thing you can save. However, it is the most thing I see you waste. How much do we need to devote our time for everything that benefits us and benefits our society and our homeland so that we can achieve success progress and happiness in this world and hereafter may allah grant us blessing in our time and lives thank you